blood are one of the most common vitreoretinal symptoms. Typically, they re they are the result of the separation of the jelly inside the eye that we call the vitreous. When that jelly starts to separate from the back of the eye, which is a normal aging process, it can cause floaters or flashes. They're very common and people may describe the floaters as a mosquito in their vision that doesn't go away or the flashes sort of like lightning in their eyes. When that happens, I suggest that a examination by a trained ophthalmologist or a retinal surgeon should be done in order to look for the problems that may arise from the separation of the jelly, which include retinal tears that are the start for what's called a retinal detachment. Fortunately, most flashes and flutter do not result in any damage to the retina. However, a thorough evaluation should be done in order to assess this. Retinal detachment is when the retina or the film of the camera in the back of the eye separates from the wall of the eye. When this happens, the patient will complain of vision loss. Typically, it starts in the peripheral part of your vision, in which you may see a shadow or curtain that may progress towards the central part of your vision. If this were to happen, this is sort of a true eye emergency that you should seek attention from an ophthalmologist or a trained retina surgeon in order to evaluate the reason of this vision loss and the shadow. Oftentimes, when there is a retinal detachment, surgery will be performed in order to repair the retina and reestablish your sight. The first step in treating vitreoretinal retinal diseases should be a thorough evaluation by a retinal surgeon. Most vitreoretinal retinal diseases can be treated in the clinic either with injection of medications or sometimes laser. When retinal detachment happens, which is a serious emergency, surgery should be performed. Sometimes there's office procedures that can be done for retinal detachment, but most often there will be surgery done in the surgery center in which we perform a day surgery under local anesthesia in general to repair retinal detachment and restore the vision. This surgery may require some position of your head to help reattach the retina. <music> Diabetic retinopathy is diabetes in your eyes. Similar to diabetes affecting your blood vessels in your entire body, they affect the blood vessels in your eyes, specifically in the retina. That may lead to vision changes with decreased central visual acuity or may also lead to bleeding in the eye that can cause severe vision loss. The most important aspect of diabetic retinopathy is the amount of time you've had diabetes as this is the biggest risk factor of developing diabetes in your eyes. Therefore, we recommend that any diabetic should have a thorough eye examination every year to determine whether or not there is diabetes in your eyes. Most problems with diabetes in your eyes can be treated easily if found early. If they are too advanced, then it becomes much harder to treat them and oftentimes requires surgery in order to repair the damaged retina or blood vessels.